Hi, this is the first lesson for saxophone and how to put it together and the first few notes. So um, if you don't have your saxophone yet, you can watch it just so you know how to put everything together. And when you, when you get it, you'll be ready to go. If you have it, then you can uh, start trying some of this stuff. So for the case, all saxophone cases are kind of the same. They just look a little different. So um, the latches always go up. I see a lot of kids open up cases, clarinet cases, trumpet cases, trombone cases, and they and they put the latches down, pull them down, and then they open up the case, and then all their stuff goes everywhere because their case is upside down. So to make sure that the latches go up, a lot of times there's a logo on the top, or the or the the letters um, are upside down. Then you know that the whole case is upside down. So you want to put it on, don't hold it like me, put it down somewhere sturdy, like the ground, so it doesn't fall over. Oh, latch, uh, flip the latches up, and um, you should see your saxophone there. So the first thing we want to talk about is the reed. So you should see a reed, find something that looks like this. It should say like two or two and a half on, on the bottom of it. So you want to put that in your mouth like this because uh, uh, you just need to get it wet um, so it can vibrate better. So to get the reed out, you just grab it like that and pull it to put it back in. You carefully put it back in and you don't need to shove it all the way in there just so it's lined up on top. That way you can grab it easily. Um, don't throw this away. It's the holder so it can keep it like safe and protected. So just keep this in there for like a minute. I was already uh, putting that in my mouth, so mine's ready to go. You should have uh, a mouthpiece, and this is called a ligature. So this is the hardest part about saxophone is putting the reed on the mouthpiece. The first step is to make sure the ligature looks like mine, where you can see the bolt, the bolts uh, on the side. If it's all the way tight, it's not going to work, so you got to loosen up all the way. Or not all the way, but most of the way. You want to lift up the ligature just a little bit. Take your reed, holding it by the thick part, always by the thick part, never by the thin part, and sliding it with the with the ligature up through the gap, not in, not into the hole here, because that's that's not going to work. On on top of the hole, sliding it down until you can see the bottom and you can catch it with this piece. That way you don't need to touch the top at all. So I caught it, sliding it down, and then once it, it kind of looks like that, you can bring the ligature down and then that, that should hold it, hold it there. So, and then, then we can get it positioned. So to get the reed positioned, you want to make sure it's straight and that you can just see, oops, I moved it on accident. So you can just see a little bit of black on the on the top where you can see the mouthpiece if you look at it straight on. So hopefully you can see that. So just a little bit of black on the top and the ligature should be kind of lined up. Sometimes there might be uh, lines on the mouthpiece or there's this little scoop part. It shouldn't be over the scoop part. It should be lined up with the scoop part or with the logo right in the middle. So just making sure that it's in the middle of the mouthpiece here. And then once the reed's lined up and the ligature's in the right spot, then you can tighten it. You don't need to be the Incredible Hulk or Captain America and tighten it as hard as you can, just enough so it, it doesn't move around if I try to move it. Okay, so that's that's the reed. To make some sounds, you grab the neck piece right here. And if it's a new saxophone or you just don't know, it's a good idea the first time to find cork grease. Some cork grease looks like uh, chapstick and this is just a smaller piece you just take your finger or if it's a chapstick piece you just put it on the end and just smear it around way it's just way easier to to put on the mouthpiece you just put it on and you don't need to put it on all the way just so you can see just a little bit of cork on the end um, it should be more than just that but just about halfway to make a sound you want your bottom lip over your bottom teeth 
and then your top teeth are gonna go on the top and it's gonna be right about in the middle. So your top teeth are gonna be about in the middle of this, not all the way up, and your bottom lip's gonna be about in the middle of this, not all the way up or not all the way down like that. So you put it in about in the middle and then you blow through the gap between the reed and the mouthpiece. And it should sound something like that. So once you can get that, great. You find your neck strap, you put it around your neck, and um, we'll, we'll talk about adjusting it uh, later. But so for now, you just put it around your neck. You grab your saxophone. Good place to grab your saxophone is just where there's no no keys. So the bell is a good spot, always with two hands. In the top, there might be a little cap here. This just keeps it um, like safe in the case. So you can take the cap out, put it back in when, when we're done. Put the neck on. Obviously it doesn't go like this. It goes on like this. There's a little thread, a little bit screw right here. Just make sure that that's loose. You put it on like that and kind of line it up um, so it's straight on with with the with the bell and then once it's in a good spot you can kind of tighten it and if it's not in a good spot then you loosen it move it and tighten it again so you always want to just loosen it before you move it on the back there is a hole that is just for the neck strap you don't want to clip it onto anything else other than this. You just want to clip it on to the hole that's meant for it. The main, the most important thing for your next strap is that you're not um, moving your body to try to get to the mouthpiece. With your next strap, it should be right up to it. So you can see right now that mine is too low. It doesn't go straight into my mouth. So I want to, for this one, you can take off the saxophone if you want to. Makes it a little bit easier. You grab the bottom and you pull up on that. Just a little bit and see if that's better. And then now you can see it just goes straight in my mouth and now I can go like this and it's still there. So I don't need to move my head up or, or anything like that. It's just right in. And then I can try just like what we did with the neck and make the same sound and it works actually this is just a little bit too high now so i'm gonna move it down a little bit more good so for your for your fingers there's a bunch of keys on the top your left hand goes on top you skip this first white one and you go to the, the second white key then you skip the next white key and go to the, the one between them and then the third one goes on the one right next to it your pinkies will eventually play this, but for now you just put it on top. Your thumb on the back can just sit on this black dot. Eventually we'll use this this key, but not right now. So you just put it on the black dot. So we have three, three fingers, one, two, three, and the black dot. Your bottom thumb goes on this hook, on, on uh, like that, not up like this, on the side. And your fingers wrap around and there's just three white dots one two three and your pinky will eventually use these keys but for now I'll just leave it on top our first three notes are the same as recorder it's just your first finger your next finger and your next finger so we go b a g while keeping your thumb on the black dot so this is b your first finger a two fingers and G, three fingers. So all those notes together make hot cross buns. So if you know that song, you can play it with me or listen and then uh, try it on your own, own and pause the video. So. Just like that. So to take it apart, you want to take off the neck strap, put it so that saxophone down in your lap, un unscrew the neck piece. It's easier to deal with the reed with it on, on, the, on the neck. So you can unscrew the ligature just a little bit. You just need to do a little bit. Push it up with your thumb. 
so you can grab the thicker part of the reed like that you find your plastic you find your plastic case and you put it back in like that not all the way so you can still grab it you put that in your case so you don't lose it you take the mouthpiece off you can leave the ligature on the mouthpiece and sometimes you might have a mouthpiece case you can put that on like that and put it back in the case the neck goes back in the case and now we need to swab out the saxophone so you should have a swab that looks like this in it and then the end has a little weight so it should be a little bit heavier you put the weight in it like that you, you spin it let's see if i can get it first try oh i did and then it should come down through here you, you gotta be really careful with this hold always holding on the two hands pull the swab pull and you do one big fast pull that way it doesn't get stuck so just a big fast if it gets stuck don't keep trying to pull bring it to school and uh, your band teacher can help you if that's me um, once it's all swabbed out, you put it back in the case. Don't forget to take your neck strap off. Because if you go back to class with this on, um, then you might lose it. Or people will be like, hey, what's that? And it's embarrassing. So put everything back and put your swab back in the case. And then it's all good. Um, that's all. So if you don't have your saxophone yet, just watch the video so you know what to do. Um, if you do have it, then you can start practicing. So see ya. Bye.